this is a skull. It's your head bone. If you didn't have hair or skin, that's that hard thing that you're feeling inside. Your eye sits in the hole in the bone called the socket. Let's take a closer look at the eye. The white part of your eye, which is kind of like an orange pill, is just protecting the stuff on the inside. That's called the sclera. That clear bump on the front of your eye, that's called your cornea. Also the lens, which is super clear, and that's what focuses things for you, like a magnifying glass or a camera lens. If you need to see something that's close or far away, your lens stretches in order for you to see it better. Cameras, magnifying glasses, and telescopes also have lenses. You will see a really squishy jelly on the inside that keeps the shape of your eye. That's called the vitreous. The color part of your eye is your iris. It comes in lots of different colors, brown, blue, green, gray, and if you're really lucky, it comes with a mixture of all of those. Your iris is like a fingerprint. Nobody has the same fingerprint, and nobody has the same iris. Those red lines in your eyes, they're basically pipes that take all of the nutrients and food that your eyes need to stay healthy. There are muscles in your eyes that move your eyes anywhere that you wanna look. There's also a black dot in the middle of our eyes called the pupil. When we're in the dark and we need more light, the pupil gets bigger. When we're in a lot of light and we don't need as much light, the pupil gets smaller. You would also see the retina, which is kind of an orange color. Your retina is in the back of your eye and it acts like a movie screen. It also has these sticks called rods and cones. Your cones are good for daytime vision and color and 3D vision, and things with a lot of little details. Your rods are good for nighttime vision, and also movement. Your eyes are like windows. When the windows open, you're letting in light, and you can see. If the window's closed, well, you can't see anything. It's dark. So, what happens to the light that enters your eyes, or what you're looking at? Well, the object that you're looking at goes through the cornea, through the pupil, through the lens and through the eye jelly and finally ends up at the retina and that's what's reading what you're able to see but everything's upside down the good thing is what you're looking at goes through a cable that goes all the way to your brain the computer of your body your brain flips everything around and figures out what you're looking at